Hi, I'm Elise from the blog LePetitSaintCrochet.com. In today's video, I am going to show you how to take this adorable little alligator and turn her into this. This pattern is from one of my all-time favorite Ami Gurumi books, which is Animal Friends of Pika Pow. And you can see that the pattern is right here. I just changed it from a boy to a girl. I changed the colors and he has a little bow tie in the boy pattern. And I just added the little bow down here. I gave her the little hat and I just added the skirt. Otherwise, I followed the pattern to a T exactly the same. All of the links to all of the resources can be found in the description box below. You're going to need a few supplies to make your amigurumi with a little tutu. So you're going to need obviously your toy. You are going to need a pair of nice sharp scissors. You are going to need your tool fabric. You're going to need a crochet hook that you can use to grab your tool fabric. Now I am using a size E hook, but use whatever you have that works for you. And you will also need just something to measure your first couple strips of tool. To be able to attach your tool skirt to your amigurumi you are going to need to make a back loop only round I have demonstrated that for you and if you already know how to do that go ahead and skip past it but it's there in case you need it So I'm actually at the point in my pattern where I am going to need to change to my green yarn and I am going to be crocheting in the back loop only for this entire round. Now what's important about this is that when you are crocheting and you want to add a tutu like I'm going to do or any type of skirt, you need those loops to be able to attach your tool or actually even if you're just going to crochet into them to make a little skirt. This is our V of our stitch. This is the front of the loop. This is the back loop. And we're just going to go into that. We're changing colors here. And there we go. And so that's what I'm going to be doing for each stitch. I am going in to that back loop only and just single crocheting. And so what it leaves is this front loop, which is where we are going to be able to attach our tool, right here in the front. I have finished my round of working in the back loop only, and you can see all of my stitches here, these front loops, this is how we are going to add the tool. This is a great technique. There's a lot of things that you can do. You can add a detail there. You can add a crocheted skirt there. You can use this around the shoes, around socks. There's a lot of different things that you can use this front loop for. It's a very versatile stitch. I won't add the tool to this until I have finished and I've added the legs, and actually I've put the whole little alligator together just because the tool is the very last thing I'm going to add. So now I want to go ahead and start cutting my strips. I want them to be approximately six inches long and I have folded my fabric so that it is six, approximately six inches here and I want to cut them about an inch and a half wide. Now remember this is not an exact science and just do the best you can and really it's not going to matter once you actually get it off all cut and you actually get it all added to your little skirt. So now I have several pieces of folded tool here and I actually just cut right across there and any of the folds here so that they are six inches long. That way I don't have to cut each individual strip on its own because that's gonna take quite a long time. Because I want two in each of the back loop only stitches and the pattern calls for 42 stitches in this round, I need 84 of these and I'm not gonna sit here and cut out each one individually. So this actually helps me to go much, much, much quicker. My goal is for each one of these to be about the same length and the same width but to be honest it's really not that big of a deal to me because you'll see once you start adding them it really doesn't matter you'll just see the fullness and I'm not much of a precise type of a person I'm a detail person but it's really okay for me if things are not absolutely perfect because you know what in the end it will look perfect it will look so adorable and all of those teeny tiny measurements aren't gonna make a difference at all trust me I've 
done this so many times now, I've added these little tulle skirts to so many different toys and they always look adorable and I never cut things out very nicely and it's always, this is the cheapest tool you can buy. I've got this at Walmart, I think for 99 cents a yard. Just know that perfection doesn't matter. It's all going to turn out beautiful in the end. So the way we add these strips is we are actually going to fold them over in half. Now I want a short little tutu for little Aggie alligator. I hold her upside down with the head towards my body and I am going to just go right into this back loop only with my crochet hook. I'm going to grab this folded edge here and sometimes tool is a little bit finicky to work with making sure that you get there we go. I'm going to pull it straight through. Now I have my two lengths here. I'm going to grab them and pull them through and tighten them up nice and tight. Now what I'm going to actually do because I want a really full skirt is I'm going to add two of these strips to one loop. So now I have attached all the little tool pieces and it is quite uneven so I'm going to go through and I'm just going to trim and just get it as even as possible but like I said before I am not looking for perfection. I just want it to look a little bit neater and it helps to smooth it out and make sure that it's not super folded up or bunched up in any areas. So I've trimmed all the way around. It's pretty even and I wanted you to be able to see her little feet underneath this beautiful little skirt and I think it turned out really cute. The last thing I need to do is add a teeny tiny little bow right here. I've actually added a skirt to several different Amigurumi toys and I just love the look that it gives. Now some of the different things that you could do with this is I just used one color but I have done where you alternate colors in each stitch and it looks looks really, really pretty. You could also have blocks of colors if you wanted to do something. If you wanted to make it like a rainbow skirt, that could be really pretty. Or if you wanted it to have a holiday feel, if you wanted Christmas or winter and you wanted white or an icy blue color, or if you were doing something patriotic with red, white, and blue, you could do so many different things. Christmas with red and green, there are just endless possibilities with what you could do. You could also experiment with the length of the skirt, so you could make it a lot longer and it could be kind of flowy or you could make it really short and it look like one of those beautiful ballerinas that are on stage professional ballerinas you could make it just look so so adorable really your imagination is your limit as long as you always get that back loop only right there at the waistline there's so many different things you could do you could even do this as a little trim around sleeves you could do it around sock little details. There are so many different things you could do. I've even used tool to make little bows for different animals. I just think that it's really versatile. Tool is extremely inexpensive. I just bought mine at Walmart and they have so many different colors. I thought of using yellow and black for like a bumblebee. There are just so many different things you could actually do with it. And I think she turned out super, super cute. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial today and I think Aggie alligator turned out so incredibly adorable. This is just what I imagined when I thought of adding this little skirt to her. And as always, if you would hit that like button and that subscribe button and the little notification bell so that you will know when I upload a new video. And as always, thank you so much for spending a little bit of time with me today. I hope you are all doing very well. If you would leave comments or questions, I'm always interested in hearing from you guys. And I hope to see every single one of you next week.